Hey there guys, welcome again. And today we're just going to be making a simple top-down shooter in Godot. So, um, I pretty much have made the basics of this. So, I'm just going to go over through the code and just tell you everything you need to know. In this tutorial, we're going to be using two assets, which is this bullet and, should I say, that laser and this spaceship here. So, these assets will be available on GitHub and on Kenny Assets. That's where I downloaded it from. So, you can go over there and get the whole pack if you want. So first off, I want to show you the player code, which is just our basic movements. Here we make a variable called move, which is a vector two. So on the physics process function, we're going to set the mouse position to the global mouse position. This is just going to get the global mouse position. And we're going to look at wherever the mouse is. So if we press the imp if we press the up key, then we want move the X to be equal to one. And the reason for that is this move.x, we want it to move in the right hand direction. And over here, we say move and slide, move times 200. This 200 is basically your speed. You can declare it as a variable up here if you want, but I just want to keep this tutorial simple. So you can just say move times 200. The rotated in the rotation. So what this um, phrase here is going to do is going to take the rotation into consideration. So if we are looking at this direction, it's going to go in that direction. And I'm just going to see, show you how this will work in just a second. So, and as you can see, it's move, it's looking at our play over there, if you can see. Then we can move um, by clicking the up key and it's going to move in any direction. It is. If you have already done this, you will probably notice that your stuff is not um, the same with mine and the reason for that is over here in the, at the sprites I actually rotated my sprites 90 um, degrees to the right so it's not actually pointing upwards again it's pointing to the right hand side and I found this um, like a bug fixer I think so <laughs> that would just fix that up for you but if you use your if your sprite is already facing the right hand side by default you don't need to add 90 degrees to the sprite you just leave it like that so for the muzzle, um, it's just a basic um, position 2D and I just want to shift it um, closer to the mouth of this guy. So it's just going to, this is where our bullet is going to be coming out from. So we can save that, go over to our player, um, our bullet, sorry, before I forget. Our bullet is just, it's basically a rigid body 2D. As you can see over here, really about it today. I have not manipulated any of this stuff, so don't worry about that. Um, it has a sprite, which is our laser, and the collision shape is here. If you're wondering why my sprite is looking like this, it's basically because I shifted it downwards. Yours by default will be like at the middle here, but I shifted mine downwards just for my reasons, okay? <laughs> so we'll go back to player and go back to the player and over here the physics process function we want to check for input calls so we say if input dot is underscore action pressed ui select this is the spacebar key then we want to shoot we have not instanced the bullet yet so we're going to instance it here var bullet underscore instance equals to preload of the bullet object so you just and click bullet.tscn another variable we want to make is var can underscore fire because if you don't do this your stuff your bullets are just going to be firing like this as you can see at the right hand side here which will be not cool okay so you can see var um, can fire equals to true is equals to true <laughs> if we can and if we are pressing the space bar key and can fire so if we can fire then we want var bullet to be equal to bullet instance dot instance so we're going to instance the bullet um the bullet scene and we're going to be setting the position the rotation and everything so we want to say bullet dot global position is equal to position and the next thing is we just want to get underscore tree dot root dot add underscore underscore child bullet so i want to i'm going to show you what this um, root add child is going to do in the future and it's basically just know that it's basically going to add the bullet as a child if you don't add it as a child it's not going to be appearing in the scene and stuff so we're going to um, go over to our bullet and we want to set some rotation um stuff 
func underscore physics process. So on this physics process function, we want um, to be moving at the right hand side, sorry, um, at the up side by default. So we want to say apply, info, uh, apply impulse. Since this is a rigid body, it has this, but if you want to use like an area 2D, we're just going to be increasing the position instead. But for the rigid body, I'm going to use um, apply impulse and we're just going to say vector 2 dot 0 and this vector 2 dot 0 is just basically the same thing as vector 2 in empty brackets um, and we want to apply we want to show the impulse so we say vector 2 again and 0 comma like minus 500 so the y is going to be minus 500 and that's because we're moving in the up direction as you can see here and yeah I think this should be good so we go back to the player and we're just going to test this out and I think we're going to run into a bug and if we don't we thank god so we're going to move forward and yeah as you can see there's a problem the bullet is moving up so yeah the problem one of the problems is our campfire variable um we haven't actually set it to do anything so we say yield when we create the first bullet we want to yield um get underscore tree the create timer so we're going to create a timer that is going to last for 0 0.2 seconds so yeah we're going to put the number of seconds over here 0 0.2 and when the timer is done we want to say can fire can fire underscore fire equals to true and before we start the timer we want to say can fire equals to false so it's just going to make like a simple delay there um, for the campfire variable and so that we can just be shooting recklessly. I'm going to check it again and fix the second bug. So move. Okay. So as you can see, it's having some kind of delay there. The second thing is um, over here is not meant to actually be position. It's meant to be our muzzle's position. Muzzle's the global position. And the way to fix the other one is just by adding bullet the rotation here. Not only that, we we'll also have to go to the bullet the GD. And after this vector two, um, we want to add the rotated rotation. And as you can see, I have actually changed the values to just make it look like our player's own. Um, and that's because this is going to move in the right direction, 500. And also in the bullets, we change the direction of the sprite. Just make sure you don't select the whole bullet and change the rotation. Just just the sprite and um, the collision shape, we just set it nicely. So we changed the sprite's rotation to about 90, made it sit there nicely. And hopefully this will run. And the reason for all those bugs, actually most of them was just because of the sprite um, move, the sprite rotation, which has to be the same as the um, player's own. So I think we should be good. Um, make sure you got everything I just said and we're just going to hit F6 we're going to try it again and we're going to move and we're going to hit the select key and as you can see it's moving really nicely so I can do this all day um, this is pretty much fun not the best game in the world but anyways it can get you something <laughs> so um, as I said before the roots um, when we are adding the child to the roots as you can see over here we have all those bullet instances and this will actually slow down the game and just a way to get rid of that um i'm just going to close this is by adding a visibility notifier so we're going to go over to the bullets control a visibility notifier um 2d so we're going to shape this to the size of our sprites and this is just going to be telling us when we are in the screen and we have left the screen so on the signal six screen exited so when we have left the screen, we just want to delete ourselves and that's what's going to happen. So we just say um, QUEUE underscore free. So if I rerun this, hit F, sorry, cancel, F6, and we'll go forward. And we see that it's going to create the bullet there, but it's going to delete it. Just monitor it at the right hand side here. You can see it's going to be creating bullets, but it's just going to be deleting them. So this is really nice. I like this stuff. This is really crazy. So yeah as i said the code will be on github if you want it you can go over there thanks for watching see you guys next time smash subscribe if you like this channel and you can also check out my other playlist um which will be cool to watch thanks for watching and goodbye